Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. But before we get into that, for those of you who are interested in winning either a brand new 9.7 inch iPad Pro or an iPhone SE, just be sure to rate this video up and share it around. That's the important part. And additional information can actually be found on my two videos related to these devices. I will have a playlist up on your screens now via the cards as well as down below in the more info for those of you who are on mobile and can't view those cards. We're still in the stages currently of determining which device to give away. That will conclude soon and then we'll have additional details on the giveaway and how to fully enter. Just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. That way you will be completely notified and you'll stay in the loop. All right, so let's get straight into this. This is just going to be a super quick video because it is a continuation of something I covered a while back. This was actually last week. For those of you who missed it, I will have a card on your screens now and a link down below in the more info. Remember, it's important that you have a working knowledge of what we're talking about today to fully understand and comprehend it. That's also a pretty quick video. I'm going to summarize right now quickly for you guys though and kind of provide a recap for those of you who watched this video previously. So essentially, I discussed an individual who claimed to have a jailbreak ready for iOS 9.2 and higher, even up to the latest public firmware as of recording this video, iOS 9.3.1. Of course, 9.3.2 is now in beta stages, but we're going to discuss discuss that a little bit later. Let's not get off topic. So he claimed to have a jailbreak ready. His story has changed so many times. He initially teased that he was going to release a jailbreak for iOS 9.2.x. And then of course, once iOS 9.3 rolled around, he was going to release it for that firmware. And then he claimed it worked for iOS 9.3.1. And he finally finished off his chain of lies with one stating that he sold the exploit two Chinese-based teams with the stipulation that they included in their next untethered jailbreak utility. Now, as I mentioned in this video, everything that he said is a lie, and that probably was too. Well, now we all but have confirmation that it was indeed a lie, because see, the word on the street, and by the street, I mean Weibo, a Chinese microblogging site, is that individuals familiar with Taiji as well as Pangu, the two active jailbreak developers currently on the scene, is that he hasn't sold anything to either of those teams. Things have remained incredibly silent regarding him interfacing with and collaborating with either Taiji or Pangu, or again, exchanging his exploit for monetary compensation. So lesson learned, we have additional word that this individual is fake, which of course I've been saying for quite some time now. I've actually mentioned him in a few past videos as well, not even including the one that I discussed previously. See, I've never said his name and I probably won't simply because I do not want to perpetuate it and give it more attention than it should have. Remember, I want you guys to know that just because someone claims they have something doesn't mean that they do. And all he was doing was trying to get his 15 minutes of fame, so to speak. He never had a working jailbreak to begin with. All he had were screenshots, and that doesn't prove anything, as I've said a number of times. So if there's one lesson I want you guys to take away from this, it's to be more skeptical. The only way that we can actually trust someone who says that they have a working jailbreak that's fully functional and can support the latest public firmware if it's currently unjailbreakable, of course, is if said individual has contributed to the world of jailbreaking in the past. If they haven't, then chances are good they're fake and they're just trying to promote toxicity throughout the jailbreak community. Because so many individuals got their hopes up that this guy was legit and that he was going to jailbreak iOS 9.3, and now guess what? Those same individuals are completely bitter and toxic toward jailbreaking and they have adopted a mindset of impossibility thinking and they're under the impression that a new jailbreak will not be released for iOS 9.3.x when that's not the case and when that guy didn't even have anything really to do with jailbreaking. So lesson learned, be more skeptical when it comes to individuals claiming they can jailbreak guys because chances are good they can't unless they've proven themselves previously. Remember, as I mentioned though, things aren't about to die down in jailbreaking. Far from it, in fact. Remember, iOS 9.3.x is getting more stable by the day, especially with the upcoming iOS 9.3.2 release. For information on that, check out my video covering it. I will have a card on your screens right now. I highly recommend watching that because I discuss both Taiji as well as Pangu and the possibility of a new 9.3.x jailbreak outside of these guys like the one I'm talking about today who claim to have a jailbreak when in reality they don't. So things are hopeful. I'm excited for the next jailbreak jailbreak are you? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you have yet to subscribe, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name as well. That way you won't miss out when I cover new things related
related to jailbreaking. Of course, I'll keep you completely updated absolutely every step of the way. It's my job to keep you in the loop when it comes to jailbreaking. And if you want to be updated even more often, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. Have a great Sunday or a great week if you're watching this at a later point. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the I Crack Your Eye Device community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.